<laughs> Solar specialist at it again. Who do this? Who fuck does that? Really? You push that up in there? Wow, you can see how neat these guys wire their panels. Everything is neat, properly strapped, properly wired. So right here we have the Schneider Electric uh, XW Pro, which is fairly new on the market right now. It's pretty much the same thing as the XW Plus, but just with some new updates. Uh, pretty much the same equipment um, we also has, have the flex max 80 by outback so here are two fm 80s our panels um, our controllers are pretty much even generating just over 700 watts per charge controller and as you can see the weather outside it's a terrible day for solar today. It's actually pretty cloudy today. We have no sunshine. So this is what the weather is looking like. It's um, it's extremely overcast. That would be the sun trying to peep its way through the clouds right now. But it's a very overcast day. Uh, we are generating just a fraction of what we normally would on a nice sunny day. So right now, on this cloudy day, the big question would be, what would the system be able to power on a cloudy day like today? All right, so we're gonna go inside. This is our JPS panel. This is our JPS main breaker. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the main breaker off. Just to verify, as you can see, that's our lightning arrester. When the panel has power, the arrester is powered. No power, the arrester is off. So we just flip the JPS breaker off. And we're now gonna go inside the house. This is what the house is using uh, at the moment. It's about 1.7 kilowatts. That's 1720 watts, to be exact. 1720 watts of power and one what would be on all right let's see what's on so we're gonna go inside the house for a moment it's currently under construction so but we're just testing out our air conditioners and we got one AC on in here. Got another one on in here. We got another one on in here. So we have three air conditioners on at the moment. All right, so we have three ACs on at the moment. And it's a steady 1720 watts. Um, what I like with the windy air conditioners is um, they're very efficient. So we have three windy ACs and we're gonna take a look at those. In a second, those are inverter ACs. Inverter ACs are um, basically the new air conditioners that enables you to save um, sometimes more than half the energy uh, compared to an older air conditioner you know so the newer ACs are inverter ACs instead of the motor going in and out on and off the motors they, they, they run continuously they speed up or they slow down therefore using um, increasing or reducing the energy usage so once the room is cool then the air conditioner uses a lot less energy now we're only generating you know about 400 watts right now so this is basically leaning on the batteries most of the power power in the house right now are actually coming from the the, the batteries 
that um, coming over from the day before yesterday, basically. So um, right now, we are generating a lot less power than we are actually using right now. So here is our AC right here. Uh, this is a 12,000 BTU unit rated at rated at about 2,000 watts, 2 kilowatts. But in real time and real usage, it's using a lot less. So here we have the other two ACs that are on. So we have all three air conditioners on in the house right now. And the house is pretty cool. They've been on uh, for hours now. So the house is actually very cool at the moment. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because if you, if you are experiencing bad weather, then you should try to conserve on energy. But I'm just trying to make a point that uh, with eight of our Xfinity um, 400 amp hour batteries, we're running three air conditioners at the moment and we are also uh, making less energy than we're using. Therefore, the excess power would be coming from the batteries. So over here, we have Mr. Johnson and he's attaching an earth tag to our earth line so that's just to see the, the tag says danger it tells you that there is an earth right there and this comes in and grounds the entire system inside so it comes in right here through the wall and this comes inside and provides us with an earth for the system and earth can also uh, be used whether well, your earth should ensure that you have a zero potential on your neutral when you're using your, uh, when we're talking about AC current alternating current then the, the ground is used to provide you with a zero potential for your neutral line so it's very important uh, also to, throughout all your lightning protection on the system it relies on a solid earth for the lining protection to work as well because what it does it carries any excess surge from the lightning directly to the earth therefore bypassing the equipment and saving your equipment basically um, from being hit directly but there's no guarantee from lining either lining protection is just uh, it's like insurance uh, you're not driving a car necessarily to get in an accident but if it does happen having insurance is definitely going to help you know so um, but there's really no guarantee against what lightning can do because it's a massive force of energy it's a massive force of electrical energy so it's um, you just have to protect yourself as best as possible so we have our lightning protection right here that's on our JPS panel we have another one on our inverter here we have uh, lightning protection on our charge controller one and two you know, so it's, it has lightning protection all throughout the entire system. So um, that's just one of the most important things that people will bypass because they, they want to get the system as cheap as possible. But it doesn't make sense. You have an investment like this and you don't put in just the basic lightning uh, protection that you, you would need in order to make sure the system operates safely for you, the user. So we've been carrying these batches for a little over a year now. Um, I'm actually very pleased with their performance. They, they are very reliable. As you can see, we're pulling continuous power. This hasn't moved since, you know, the, this, this is what the air conditioners are using. But this is all three air conditioners. And that's really 90-95% 90, 90, of the load are these three air conditioners at the moment because there's nothing in the house, we're just running some lights and you know, it's very tiny electronics like phones and laptops but the, um, 
most of this power is coming from the three ACs that are on at the same time. And this is really quite minimal for three 12,000 watt B, um, for three 12,000 BTU ACs. Um, this is actually pretty good for three of them being on at the same time. Okay. So that means we're, we're using maybe about less than 600 watts per AC. That's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. But the fact that it's such a bleaky day, let's zoom in on one of our outbox here. It's a bleaky day. We're only generating 200 watts per string, and we have uh, we have about 7.6 kilowatts of solar panels on the roof. We're using Canadian Solar 320 watt monocrystalline panels. Really nice, high efficiency panels. They're uh, also very small for their output so you get get a good bang very nice panels and uh, we're gonna show you those in a second but the fact that uh, we are generating so little power um, just about 400 watts between both charge controllers about 400 watts compared to 1700 watts so there's a 1300 watt de deficit that has to come from the batteries in order for the equipment to run um, to get the power that it needs so we're pulling about 1300 watts from these batteries continuously right now and it's a 48 volt system AC has been on for hours now and it's still at 50 volts right here 50.5 50.4 volts that's our battery bank volt this is our line coming in from our panels um, they're wired at uh, sometimes it goes up to about 120 volts but because the weather is bad uh, the the amperage is low it's kind of leaning on the voltage to pull the voltage down so we're putting out about 90 volts at the moment uh, coming in at 1.7 amps our battery bank then breaks that down to charge our battery, the charge controller breaks that down to a 50.5 at 3.2 amps to charge our battery. So there's very little going in right now. So the power is actually flowing this way from the battery into the system. Okay, so let's talk a little bit now about the panels that we're using. As you can see, these are monocrystalline panels. These are from Canadian Solar and uh, these are 320 watt panels. Each panel gives you an output of 320 watts in optimal weather when it's you know fully exposed to sunlight. Now we have 24 of these. So we have about 7.6 kilowatts of free energy, free energy. And we use this free energy to power the things that we need to power in our household this is the power of solar energy okay right now we're running air conditioners and if I'm really quiet you should be able to hear them from here that's two 12,000 BTU ACs and we've been running these ACs for hours we actually turn them on as an experiment this morning uh, around 6 a.m. when we woke up and um, you know so we're gonna test the system before before we turn it over to the customer so we're running all the heavy appliances to make sure that everything works properly uh, so in zero sunlight it's about to rain right now as well uh, we're still able to stay off the grid with just eight batteries and uh, we're actually gonna add another eight very shortly just so that we can have even more storage for this free energy that's flowing all around us in the air every day this is the power of solar solarspecialistja.com 467 
6643 is the phone number. Give us a call. We do solar the right way, the way it's supposed to be done. So if you want a quality installer, that is not going to give you any kind of shorthand because um, that's important to a lot of people for some people it's the cheapest work they can get that's what they're interested in but we're interested in giving it the best work that you can get you know and, and uh, the best work is not always going to be the cheapest work it's impossible it can't work that way but what we do we do a high quality installation and ensure that everything is working properly So we enclosed our battery banks to make it safer for the user, for the kids. So at the moment we have three air, air conditioners running and uh, with all three they're pulling about 3000 watts at the moment. Three 12,000 BTU windy inverter ACs. And that's the finished product, guys. Call that number. Thanks for watching our videos. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to bring you some good content. www.solarspecialistja.com uh, This is... Falmouth Chilani See right here we have the town of Falmouth right here in the background Falmouth Chilani Solar Specialist GA.com And it's a wrap 3000 Watt GACs 24 320 Watt Panels